you are ruining the prospects of us taking the paranormal seriously. Hello, you gorgeous lot. How are you doing? Okay, my name's Jackie. I'm passionate about all things paranormal, if you didn't know already, but I feel the need to get onto here and share this with you because I have got a voice, but I'm getting seriously pissed off with some of these top five channels on YouTube. I think it's time we took a stand. I think some of these channels are so focused on throwing out weekly compilation videos that they are inadvertently killing the paranormal genre. And this is pissing off a lot a lot of genuine paranormal investigators and I want to question this is it my place to question hell yeah this is YouTube it's a public platform everybody else has got something to say it's took me a long time to pluck up the courage to say something about this because I know there's going to be retaliation I know that there's I'm going to get flack I'm quite thick-skinned I'm a Mancunian I can take it I'm actually too old to care anymore. Yeah, I think it's something that needs to be discussed. I'm reading from a little bit of a script underneath because I have rewrote this, I must tell you, about five times. I'm not going to show you. I'm going around in circles. I'm like dithering about because I can't make my mind up whether to say anything, but I do apologise. Right, as you know from me, I love the paranormal, okay? I usually do reaction videos. I love anything horror. I love gaming. I've actually been doing paranormal investigations since I was 16 years old now i'm going to give me age away now that's over 40 years all right it's a long fucking time i've had lots of different experiences i'm a skeptic first i am now a believer now there's three avenues here non-believer if i found a ghost for you got him to shake your hand you'd still say that's a load of crap don't believe in ghosts right then you've got the skeptics hopefully healthy skeptics not dismissive ones and they're open-minded enough they might have experienced the odd thing they know something's going on or they think nah there's nothing going on but i'm still really interested that's a skeptic and then you have the believers that's me somebody who has experienced might only be a handful of genuine paranormal things have tried relentlessly to debunk and you can't and then when you start experiencing these things your mind opens up a little bit. I am a debunker. I am, the, the way my mind works, I like to analyse everything to death. Over the years, these things I can't. The more you experience, the more hungry you become to find out why you can't debunk these things. That then becomes the passion. And that's where I stand. I'm passionate for the paranormal. Only the last couple of years, I started playing around with, with stuff on YouTube thinking... I like this idea. I want to share my passion. I can teach. I know how to do certain aspects of the paranormal investigating and how to do, uh, I did talk psychic awareness years ago, tarot, there's all that kind of stuff. I love all that stuff. So I'm thinking this would be a great avenue to go down because it's a public platform and it reaches millions of people perfect not only that i get to see and witness other people doing investigations i got quite interested in the top fives because it was a really cool place to be these guys were doing a brilliant job collecting and compiling all these brilliant clips then people started sending them as they became more and more popular and it was brilliant because you've got a real window into the world of potentially what's going on in the paranormal genre, right? Now, I don't know if they've changed or we have changed. It's got to a place now where they've become, in my eyes, a bit of a joke. I still love them. I'm still entertained by them. Number one, I'm getting bored. It's the same crap. There's slim pickings out there and they seem to all share the same clips. So one will trip up with one clip and then all of a sudden the rest of them are all playing it. So you've seen one, you've seen them all. Now, because they have become so popular, majority of these channels are self-sufficient. So they have become monetized and the chances are they're paying the rent, they're feeding the kids based on money they're making via YouTube. Good on them. You know, don't blame you. Any paranormal investigator will tell you that if I can give up my day job and do this stuff full time... Uh, yeah, count me in. Of course you would. Thing is, when you become monetized and you become self-employed, there's a big pressure that turns up there. You suddenly have to deliver, whether it's a service, uh, a product, whatever. Because if you don't, you don't get your money. It's as simple as that. So these guys have gotten so big that they have to deliver content every week. And I believe they've sat on the fence forever over this. And I think originally they started these channels thinking, guys, look at these clips. 
I don't know what to make of them. What do you think? And they've pushed him onto YouTube, which is great. That's what we loved about them. But I think now they're getting desperate because not only are the pickings really slim, there's more of these top five channels that are turning up. There's more competition. To me, feels like that they are not being selective with the clips that they show to the extent that they are showing obvious fake clips. Now, we know these are fake, because we've got a lovely debunking army out there that are picking some of these clips up and saying, hang on a minute, guys. And they are, I mean, I'm crap with the computer. Really am. But some of these guys are really clever. They've come along and they've said, I'm going to show you. And they've said, look at that, look at that, look at that. And then all of a sudden, we've got these people that are watching YouTube saying, oh my God, yeah, what a load of bollocks. I really believed in them. I mean, I remember the first time I found out Dark Ghost was just for entertainment purposes and was faking it. I will still watch and react to one of his videos and say, I'm sorry, I can't see how that was done. And I think he's real. However, unless you're there, you're filming it yourself, you will never genuinely know unless you see the fishing line, unless you see the line where they're masking or you see where they've caught or... So thank you to the debunkers. We need those healthy debunkers and sceptics out there. So these guys have come along and then all of a sudden they're saying... That's fake, that's fake, that's fake. But these top five channels are still posting these contents. They are not being selective. And I think the reason is they're sitting on the fence and not being selective. It's monetized. They've got a business to run. Okay, call it greed. I personally wouldn't call it greed. We're just being realistic. They've got kids to feed. So they are putting on purposely fake content. Is that an issue? It depends where they sit in the YouTube, under the YouTube umbrella. Are they just entertainment? Or are they educational or are they both? Now, when you see their thumbnails, their thumbnails promise top scary ghosts, won't, you won't be able to sleep at night. Their titles, that's clickbait. So that's making a promise and then they don't deliver or do they? See, this is where it gets really complicated because my fake is going to be different to your fake. We are sitting from different perspectives. It always will. Like I say, you've always got to make the assumption it can be debunked unless you film it yourself. Are they throwing fake content in those clips because they're slim pickings and they have to deliver every week? Yes, because the debunkers have shown us which are purposely fake. Now, there is the aspect of they could lose most of their subscribers if they say, this is all rubbish, or no, I believe every single one of these, or whatever. There's lots of reasons. They could lose the money over it. They've kind of got a little disclaimer within the video. They've been very crafty. So they will actually say... What do you think? You have to make the decision, the public, the viewer. So that very cleverly takes away this disclaimer aspect that is this all genuine? And then it kind of allows them to do the thumbnails the way they do and the, the titles. It's a cop out, right? OK, I can have my opinions. Don't shoot me. That's all well and good. And I'm all for somebody making a few quid from YouTube if they want to. That's fine. Inadvertently, what this has done is this is damaging the paranormal genre. My passion, years of research, investigations, not just by me, by thousands of others. You are dishing that passion. Now, if I was a religion, and it is almost a religion, the paranormal for some people. If that was a religion, I'm not sure that it would be allowed for you to take the piss to such extent. I'm not sure, okay? But if it was a religion, would this be happening? Can the top five channels please take some responsibility? You are big channels now. With a big channel, you become an influencer. Being an influencer, you have some responsibility. Can you please take on this responsibility because you're pissing me off? I want people to question if there's life after death. I've witnessed stuff I can't explain. I need, we need everybody to be looking at this and searching and researching and learning how to do it. I We need everybody because this is possibly where our species is going to evolve to now i know that's probably a bit out there for some people i mean how long ago was it when we found out the earth was round okay so before that time we all thought the earth was flat and the absurdity to think that the earth was round was just top five <laughs> I'm sorry it was. What is to say our species just hasn't quite evolved into that place. But what these top fives are doing, I know it's a little bit wacky of an idea, a bit out there. 
you are ruining the prospects of us taking the paranormal seriously. And you need to stop while I'm on the subject. I know there's a lot of rumbling going on at the minute. And I think that because these debunkers, rightly so, have come along and sort of said, hang on a minute, that's crap. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Just keep in mind these debunkers are coming from their own perspective as well. We'll always have people with their own opinions. I get it. There's an army of debunkers developing. So here we go. Top five channels are showing shit paranormal stuff that is obviously fake. Debunkers that have come along and are screaming that everything's fake. Whether rightly or wrongly, that's whatever fence you sit on there, that's up to you. We haven't got the other side. The only other side we've got in this is some paranormal channels whether you believe them or not, let's just leave that at the door for a minute, that are showing paranormal stuff. Now, this is questionable again because there's so much activity going on in some of these channels. A regular, genuine paranormal investigator will go, oh, I don't think so. That's not really how it works. Do we know? We're not there. Laney and Ben, really haunted. Get some debunkers over to your house and just get them to sort of see this stuff for themselves. If you don't, that then becomes very questionable. I am still going to be open-minded with these guys, but they are getting slated. So there is only a few people that are genuine paranormal investigators. We can't seem to take any of the clips that we see genuine. There's even the likes of Will's and Mr. Grey, great respect for him, ever around Norfolk Way, Dan, come and have a brew. Um, he is even sort of really against the likes of a certain platforms and I don't quite understand why. Maybe because he's tired of seeing the fake shit, because uh, say he's coming from a different perspective from my end. If I knew how to use TikTok, which I don't, I'd probably post something I capture on TikTok, but I don't know how to use it. So I'm not dismissing anything. A healthy skeptic has to be open-minded regardless of the platform until you get on the top five YouTube. So I'm contradicting myself there. So I think at the minute we are kind of outnumbered. We've got the top five channels spewing crap. We've got the debunkers, rightfully so, pulling people up on it because there's so much crap out there. But then you've got this little tiny, small, little army of paranormal investigators and possibly genuine paranormal clips that are hitting these top fives. But because they're thrown in with so much crap, they're not even considered. We need to make a stand a little bit, okay? We need to stop being worried about the debunkers. Unless you've got something generally to be scared of. If you are talking shit on faking shit, then, yeah, be scared. But stop worrying about retaliation. If you believe in the paranormal, stand behind the paranormal. What I'm not liking, and which it seems to be happening at the minute, is a little bit of a battle and a war going on. People are being nasty to each other. Really? There's no need for that. I get that some of the viewers and subs and community to do with some channels are pissed off because then people are coming along and saying that's that's not genuine, that's fake, and they're having a go, right? Keep some perspective. There is no need for nastiness. I'm sorry, there isn't. You've got to remember, if he has conviction or if a person has conviction over their channel, their content, that should be good enough for them and they shouldn't be too worried about the debunkers. I have just seen something this morning and this is what's prompted me to come on because I'm seeing these guys. Have you noticed there's not many girl debunkers out there that I've seen? Hmm. Um... It's usually because we've got to bloody wash our hair and put makeup on before we can even hit the screen, which is annoying. I haven't today, by the way. Um, I've noticed this morning Cole Spectra has come on. Um, these guys are all lovely. I, I think they're great. And he's made a suggestion of a, um, a little army of people that are going to certify paranormal investigators. Now, my first reaction, Cole, and I'll be really honest was, what the fuck? I don't need to prove anything to you. <laughs> I don't need to prove anything to anybody. I've got conviction. Then I'm thinking, you went on to explain about the top five thing, which is what I've had a beam in bonnet about for a long time. I get it. I totally agree with you. And you said, we don't want to give them the power. Now, my concern is, are you just not transferring that power? Some of you, I'm like, oh, I wouldn't have said it like that. 
and I think you get too personal personally I don't think there's any need I agree with the what you're doing but how you're doing it and how you come across sometimes is a little bit too but then that's the freedom of YouTube that's not personally how I would do it there's five of you you are all coming from different perspectives not all of you are going to be skeptics you're going to have non-believers in there as well that would never in a million years believe there is anything paranormal unless like I say even if I stood one in front of you you still wouldn't believe I understand the concept of let's share views let's get subs let's do all this let's help each other out I get it I love all that but how can you certify a paranormal investigator if none of you are proper paranormal investigators you've not got a fair committee there You'll all come from your own perspectives. You're all becoming popular for being debunkers. I know you, you're quite a, a young channel, but I just feel that the power will just get transferred from the top fives to yourself. And then I'm thinking that's an unfair system. I get why you think it might work, but I think from a paranormal investigations perspective, nobody needs to tell me I need to be certified. We are in a genre that is so uncertain, even I might get it wrong. You are certainly going to get it wrong. Everybody's going to get it wrong. We might get it right. It's so easy to debunk paranormal activity to the extent that you guys are getting growing quite fast now. It's stupidly easy to debunk any evidence because we are not there it's near impossible to prove it's genuine that is the nature of the paranormal world they are subtle they're not obvious it's extremely subtle it's very very difficult i wish do you not think i i would love to have some obvious evidence now we might have channels out there already that are finding the obvious i don't know i'm not there and I will never say, unless I see it's obviously fake, but even when you guys question it, you will always be able to find a way to debunk something. So if I have this and I go like that, and my hand's not there, you say it's masked. It's this, it's that, it's a fishing line, whatever it is. You can always say that, always. You are judging on our laws of physics what if the paranormal has a different laws of physics what if they don't have any laws of physics your perspective as debunkers will have a certain limitation just like mine as a paranormal investigator has yeah i don't think i like the idea of it and i think that you can give your opinions, but this idea of being certified and having badges on the channel, I take offence with that because I don't need anybody to tell me I'm genuine and I certainly wouldn't do it for the subs and the views out of principle because I think if you've got conviction as a paranormal investigator, a genuine one, you don't need that. That's just my view. You've asked for people's views. I'm giving it to you. I do like the idea of you having a, not a certified, but a review. Do it as a review rather than a certified and I've got badges. A review of your debunking army. But on that debunking committee, I want to see some genuine paranormal investigators. Because I don't think it should just be up to the debunkers to view these channels. They might be, I know that there's one or two in the debunking army that have done the odd paranormal investigation, but get some, get some paranormal investigators in there that are more open-minded, that are legit, that are um, established, that have been around for a long time possibly. See, you're always going to be open to interpretation. You're always going to have different perspectives. So it's going to be a really, really difficult task to have. You are dealing with a genre that is not an exact science. That's the whole point, exact science. We d might not have a science in the paranormal. It might not even exist. It might be a different thing altogether. So it's a very, very difficult to measure and judge. Best of luck. Anyway, I've waffled on enough. I've said my piece. I'm expecting quite a, 
you know, I'm past caring now. I'm passionate about this stuff and I know that there are a ton of people like me on there that are screaming at the TVs at the minute that are feeling that the some channels are being unfairly treated, that the debunkers are doing a great job, that the top five channels are wonderful or the top five channels are stop feeding shit stop spoon feeding us bullshit because you are spoiling our paranormal genre you are spoiling what could be a place we are going to evolve into 100 200 years from now anyway next time i'm going to be doing a video because <laughs> we've had a lot of conversations about this on the debunkers okay are they heroes or are they traitors so till next time, hope you enjoyed this. Take care. Bye-bye.